Happy Wednesday to each and every one of you. Happy Sweet Wednesday. Sugar send off week. One of my favorite things is happening today. I'm so excited. I've always wanted cuddly animals in the zone, and it's never happened. Your it's wish is coming today. true today. Your wish is like, coming true all week. Hi, How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hi, Hi. Oh, we're getting the animals. Yeah, getting even better. So this is Jack. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Jack is a wallaby. Oh, my That's goodness. it. Make, make your arms like a pouch. Hi, Jack. So Jack is from Bowmanville oh, Zoo. I love. And unfortunately, when he was younger, Hi. his mom, uh, he fell out of his mom's pouch. Mm -hmm. So we had to hand raise him. And so we've been hand raising him now for the last six months. Oh. And he's doing quite well. When we first got him, he was around the size of your, two of your thumbs, and he was totally pink. Oh, you're oh. kidding. Not oh, a piece he was of all pink? Yep. Because these guys remember are marsupials, so when they're mm -hmm. born, they're born very underdeveloped, and they crawl into the mother's pouch where they develop. So in uh, North America, we have opossums. That's the marsupial. Yes, right. But in Australia, virtually all the mammals are uh, marsupials. So how long would you stay in his mother's pouch in, in the wild? Oh, they'll stay in the pouch seven, eight months. Yeah. And uh, and what'll happen? She'll give birth to another one while the first one's nursing. So there's a little embryo-sized uh, um, baby wallaby on one of the nipples, and then he'll put his uh, head in, because he doesn't fit anymore, and he'll suckle off the other nipple. Weird. And they just, yeah, wow. oh, marsupials are a little strange reproductively. Yeah, Absolutely. totally strange. strange reproductively. He's got the cutest little feet. Look at Jack's feet over here. Now, he sits on his feet and jumps all around, I'm assuming, yeah. with these gigantic feet. Yes, absolutely. Is but he just like a kangaroo, or not? Yeah, they're, they're very similar. It's sort of like the difference between a pony and a horse. Right. So you have wallabies and kangaroos. So how big is he going to get, then? He'll go twice that size. Yeah? Yeah, he's a Bennett's wallaby, and they're, they're a very oh. common uh, species of wallaby. They tend to be very hardy. In fact, Hi. some of them have escaped oh. in uh, Britain, and they're actually feral there now. So in northern around Manchester, there's maybe 5,000 wallabies I, bouncing around. Wow. I just can't imagine this guy, like, jumping around and being crazy because he looks so calm and he's comfortable so right calm. now because he's been socialized by people yeah if he wasn't they're very very nervous because right. they're a prey species and usually your best response if you're a prey species if something scares you it's probably going to eat you so you run away run, run away. away get out of there real simple now is he going to be cuddly forever yeah yeah, yeah. This, yeah again that's the joy of when you when you socialize them like this and our plans for, uh, quite honestly are to use them as a outreach animal for our school education cool. programs excellent awesome. well we have some more animals coming up but we're going to keep hanging out with Jack for a bit yeah. we got Avatar coming up in a little while so don't go anywhere it's my pick of the day cheers What's Welcome back, on? everybody. So exciting. Look what I'm holding. This is a little wallaby, only six months old, this little Jack. And our guest today is Mike from the Bowmanville Zoo. Mike, thanks so much for coming for my send off week. Absolutely. At least we could do sugar. You're running off to Hollywood, yes. so we have a Canadian wallaby saying bye bye. No, oh, bye bye. I am absolutely in love with Jack over here. What a cuddly animal. You must love your job. I do. I'm very lucky. Yep. Yeah. If you love animals, this is a job to have. Oh, if you don't so like animals, cute. Do Not something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't do it for the money, that's for sure. <laughs> so, this guy's got gigantic feet. I don't yep. know if you can see these big old feet back here. How does he get around? Does he hop he, around? He, they actually hop. So, if you want to, let's just put him down on the ground. Oh, really? And, yeah, we, we can watch okay. him. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to go for a little walk? Yep, yeah, he's done this before. So, just support him on his way down. Okay. Okay, and what you'll see, he'll, he's going to balance on his back legs. There you go. There you go, and he puts his front legs down to sort of balance himself, picks himself. This is a, this is a new f uh, place he's in the studio. He's never been before, and you can see how he supports himself. Oh, he uses his tail. Cool. Eh? Yeah. Tails are very important for balancing, etc. Yeah. Now there's not enough room in here for him to really start hopping, um, so he'll do the front paws. But once he gets going, boom, 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 they uh, they'll hop. They'll hop along at 30k an hour, no problem. That's they'll, pretty fast. It's pretty fast, and they'll go, they'll also go high. I mean, these guys will jump. 20, uh, oh, let's say meters, seven meters. I've heard stories about, like, in Australia, people getting aggravated by kangaroos and wallabies jumping over their fences into their backyard. So that's a true story. That's a oh, absolutely. Yeah. Just like in the southern Ontario, people get upset with white-tailed deer yeah. eating yeah. their vegetable garden. So in, in Australia, they get upset with uh, with wallabies. Totally. Does he do any climbing at all? No, no, no. There are there are species of tree kangaroos that do, but he doesn't. Again, he's a Bennett's wallaby. So what you see here is sort of what he'll do. I'm trying to get him, but he just, he just actually <laughs> just pick him at me. Just pick. Oh, he there does he that to, There you go. Sure. Just pick him up. Ignore the hiss. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hang okay, on. You got him and pull him up. Okay. And support him like he's in a pouch. Like in a pouch. In a pouch. You're fine. Oh, there. All right, guys. Avatar <laughs> is coming up right now. Show this pick of the day. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Zone. It's the Sweet Sugar Send-Off Week. We've got Mike here from Bowmanville Zoo and Jack. Jack, try to take a little nap. Anyway, 
my arms here. Yes, he is. So cute. Yes, he is. But you know, you're uh, you're not a marsupial, so you don't have a pouch. No, I don't. No. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, you never know. <laughs> but let's try him into his pouch. So just put the okay. end of his head in. So we're here. Here's a pretend mummy's hey, look, pouch. There's your pouch. And look, boom, boom, and, and yeah! look. He just jumps right in there. Yeah. Oh, he loves it in there. Yeah, he's right? very comfortable. And this is the, <laughs> this the way he does it. So yeah, here's the tail, and here's the feet, and the head is. Well, the head's way back it's there somewhere. It's so cute. What, like, this is way better than a purse dog. Oh, yeah, for sure. And he's just going to curl up and go to bed or just yeah. chill out there all day? Yeah, he's very it. comfortable there. Puts oh, his little so head out and has a look. And, uh, Adorable. Again, this is the way he spent the first five months of his life. I mean, um, <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Okay, this is my favorite day so far. Well, <laughs> they've all been kind of good. Uh, we're hanging out with Mike from the Bowmanville Zoo. And look, a lemur. Yep. So cute. There you go. Okay, you want some? There you go. Oh, we're just eating right out of the bottom of my hands. A whole handful there. That's right. Well, he likes them. He likes the little cranberry raisins. What's his name? His name is Petey. Hi, Petey, Petey, the ring-tailed limo. Yep, he's a male, a boy, and he's actually a daddy. He's got a number of babies back at Bowmanville Zoo. How many right. girlfriends does he have? He has quite a few. Uh huh. Yes, it's a matriarchal <laughs> society, and um, so he he does well on 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 girlfriends, and he also <laughs> does really well uh, on this level. He, uh, we bring him out. It's a chance to people to see people or have people see our closest cousin because he's still a primate. He's uh -huh. not a raccoon. Uh, in fact, we share eighty percent of the same genetics with him, and uh, compared to a chimpanzee, which is ninety-seven. Oh, wow. So a chimpanzee is even closer to us than a. Well, I eat like that. Here, look what I have. So over I believe here. it. Look, look at this. Hey, buddy, look at this. You want some? Here. Go on, Petey. There you go. Yeah. He's very right. gentle. He's very gentle. Yep. Okay, I need to hold him after. Guys, stick yes, around. Sure. We still have more coming up. Petey is coming to sit on my lap. I'm telling you that. <laughs> stick around, guys. Next. All right. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to The Zone. It is a sweet <laughs> sugar send-off week. We've got Mike from Bowmanville Zoo here and a ringtail lemur named Petey. Which is pretty amazing. Look, he's eating right out of the palm of Look at his little hands. hand. Yeah, oh, he's oh. so cute. <laughs> Hi. Are you hungry? This is so cool. Mike, thank you so much for bringing Petey in okay. today. The least we could do is, mm -hmm. you know, a, a Canadian lemur send off. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Now tell us all about this guy. Where's he from? Sure. Um, he's He was, uh, quite frankly, born in Canada. Mm -hmm. Probably 30 generations yeah. of Canadian lemur. But uh, the ancestral home is Madagascar, which, of course, is off the uh, east coast of Africa. And these guys, unfortunately, are in bad shape. Um, you're looking at an island species, so it's limited habitat. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, habitat destruction is what's pushing them towards a, an, extinction, mm -hmm. in the, a, a, an extinction. They're currently an endangered species. Um, a good news is they breed extremely well in captivity. Uh, yeah. They do very, very well in captivity. Well, he's got so many girlfriends. I mean, come yeah. on. Absolutely. Girlfriends help. Uh, and they're just really amenable. They, 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 they do well, but um, it doesn't solve the problem in the wild. Yeah. So, I mean, if we're looking to try and help lemurs, tropical hardwoods, don't buy them. We don't need them. They do. Right. Oh, I wouldn't cry for the lemur, never mind the fact that I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> Um, this is so exciting. I can tell how much you really love this little guy. Oh, he's a charmer. Are they your favorite animal? Actually, the elephants are my favorite. Oh, is yeah. that right? Yeah. Yes, I've actually met Mike's elephants before. Yeah. That's quite a difference between taking care of a lemur and taking care of an elephant. You know, on a level, it's you not saw? because you're dealing both with sentient, intelligent animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so the type of uh, enrichment you have to give. Now, he'll eat what, maybe 300 grams of food a day, and an elephant will eat 100 kilograms. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there's differences just based yeah. on that reality. But, uh, no, the if you can look after one animal well, you can look after many animals well. For sure. And then oh, you get the things like gorillas, which are just very demanding, smart. Gorillas are oh, demanding? Yeah. Absolutely. Like, needle. give me my dinner demanding? You, that, and you keep, they have to keep them mentally challenged. Yeah. You don't want them bored. Worst yeah, they're smart. Do, they're smart. Oh, oh boy, things. are they smart. These are really clever animals. Right. Well, thank you so much for coming in tonight. And hey, maybe if you're bored That's later, right. you and Petey oh, can oh, jump oh. online at YTV.com and join in the Sweet Sugar Send Off web chat. You guys should be there 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take a chance to say goodbye to me online, and I would love to see you guys there. All right, ciao. Bye, Petey.